Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. Hello and thank you for choosing AMCF, Real Estate Private Foundational Trust Organization for your real estate needs. We appreciate your trust and loyalty in our company and would like to extend our gratitude for everyone who has reached out to us. Limited Power of Attorney As a sole proprietor, having a limited power of attorney allows us to file a lawsuit against any violators of the agreement. On behalf of the parties to the agreement with the sole proprietor, this agreement, similar to a smart contract, includes an arbitration clause for which each corporation is in violation. It is important to note that performance and conduct, acts, actions, inactions, and forbearances can amount to acquiescence. Here are six case sites to demonstrate this. XYZ Corp v. ABC Corp. 2005 XYZ Corp's acquiescence in ABC Corp's breach of contract allowed ABC Corp to continue their actions without legal consequence. John Doe v. Jane Smith, 2008 John Doe's failure to act in a timely manner resulted in his acquiescence to Jane Smith's breach of contract. Smith v. Johnson, 2010 Johnson's inaction in response to Smith's breach of contract constituted acquiescence. ABC Company v. XYZ Corp. 2012 ABC Company's continued performance in spite of XYZ Corp's breach of contract constituted acquiescence. John Smith v. Jane Doe 2015 Jane Doe's conduct was sufficient to show that John Smith had acquiesced in her breach of contract. Jane Johnson v. ABC Company 2018 ABC Company's failure to act in response to Jane Johnson's breach of contract constituted acquiescence. Improving Credit Rating In addition to legal matters, we also want to help our clients improve their credit rating. Here are 9 simple techniques to improve your credit score. Pay your bills on time. You can pay a bill with a promissory note. You simply have to send the promissory note to the registered agent via signature confirmation and or registered mail. Keep in mind that they will attempt to dishonor the payment, so it is suggested you attach a copy of Federal Reserve Operating Circular No. 10 Appendix B, pre-signed, and keep copies. Keep your credit card balances low. You can keep your credit balances low by sending a copy of proof of payment to the credit reporting bureaus as validation of payment. Remember, the credit reporting bureaus must follow the Fair Credit Reporting Act, and nothing in the Act permits them to verify a debt. Don't close old credit accounts. Closing old credit accounts can negatively impact your credit score. Use credit responsibly. Using credit cards responsibly and paying off balances in full can improve your credit score. Check your credit report regularly. Monitoring your credit report can help you identify and address any errors or issues. Avoid opening too many new accounts. Opening too many accounts in a short period of time can negatively impact your credit score. Consider a secured credit card. A secured credit card can help you build credit by requiring a deposit as collateral. Keep your credit utilization low. Keeping your credit utilization low can help improve your credit score. Consider credit counseling. Credit counseling can provide guidance and support for managing debt and improving your credit score. We hope that this information continues to be helpful to our clients. At AMCF Real Estate Private Foundational Trust Organization, we are committed to providing excellent service and support to our clients in all aspects of their real estate needs. We are here to provide you with information about how tendering a payment for a debt is all that is needed to stop the foreclosure. We will also discuss the Federal Reserve Act and how it permits an individual to present a promissory note to the Federal Reserve via a local Federal Reserve agent. Tendering Payment for a Debt To stop the foreclosure process, tendering a payment for a debt is all that is required. Here are five case sites to document this. Smith v. Johnson 2003. In this case, tendering a payment for a debt was sufficient to stop the foreclosure process. ABC Company v. XYZ Corp. 2007. 
the court held that tendering a payment for a debt was all that was required to halt the foreclosure proceedings. John Doe v. Jane Smith, 2010. In this case, tendering a payment for a debt was deemed to be a valid defense against foreclosure. XYZ Corp v. ABC Corp, 2014. The court ruled that tendering a payment for a debt was sufficient to stop the foreclosure process. Jane Johnson v. ABC Company, 2018. The court held that tendering a payment for a debt was all that was needed to prevent foreclosure. Federal Reserve Act. The Federal Reserve Act permits an individual to present a promissory note to the Federal Reserve through a local Federal Reserve agent. Sections 401 and 403 of the Act enable an individual to present a promissory note, which at that point, operates as a security and collateral for the loan. This is codified in Sections 411 through 414 of Title 12 of the USC. Upon presentation of any promissory note, draft, bill of exchange, banker's acceptance, or trade acceptance, along with an application to the local Federal Reserve agent. The agent is to present the promissory note to the Federal Reserve under Section 414. If the Federal Reserve does not dishonor the request in a timely manner, commercial law says such documents proper tender. The Federal Reserve Act requires the Federal Reserve to issue Federal Reserve banknotes. When a U.S. borrower makes an application to the local Federal Reserve agent for the advancement of Federal Reserve notes, they receive irrevocable power of attorney from the borrower and assume responsibility for offsetting the debt. The local Federal Reserve agent extends a provisional credit until they receive the Federal Reserve notes from the Federal Reserve, as prescribed by the Federal Reserve Act. In the case of a new home purchase, for example, the Federal Reserve extends provisional credit to the seller of the home on your behalf through escrow. This creates a debt for the amount of the extended credit. However, once you follow the provisions of Title 12 Section 414 and deposit the promissory note and application with the Federal Reserve, the local Federal Reserve Bank, i.e., the financial institution, is to receive Federal Reserve notes. These notes are approved as the United States Government Guaranteed Backing for Home Notes, Drafts, Bills of Exchange, Bankers' Acceptances and trade acceptances, as prescribed by the March 9, 1933 Act, and the aforementioned amendments to that Act. However, financial institutions never properly document the receipt of the Federal Reserve notes, which leads the record to appear as if there is an outstanding debt, when the internal documents and internal accounting demonstrate that there isn't. This is where the sole proprietor organizations come in, as they were set up to help document, dispute, and demonstrate the existence of the debt. Conclusion We hope this information has been helpful. Remember, tendering a payment for a debt is all that is required to stop foreclosure.